to get in a little bit more advanced animation, you might want to make your character walk from one part of the slide to the other. And, for a little fun, I might be able to make our character walk almost like a South Park character. For the first do so, I need to bring up the custom animation task pane which will appear on the right hand side. I could either right click on my character and go to custom animation, or click on slideshow custom animation. Both do the very same thing. Now, what I need to do is I need to select my character and make sure he's selected. You see the white circles around him, you know that he is selected. Then I can go to Add Effect, Motion Path, and these motion paths allow you to move the character from one part of the slide to the other. Let's say I choose to uh, diagonal upright. You see how he went from that diagonal upright? And it draws this little line right here. If that's not far enough or not exactly where I want to put it, I can click on the line to select it and change the arrow to where I want him to go. And then I press play and you see how the character follows that path. Now if I'm not happy with that animation, I can click on it and click remove. And that disables the animation but not the character. Now if I want him to walk like a South Park character, I need to do something a little bit more advanced. I'll select my character, add effect, motion path, and I'm going to choose draw custom path. And from here I've got four options. I'm going to choose scribble. And my mouse cursor is going to turn into something that looks like a pencil. Now if I begin drawing from my tie, and I draw a path where I want them to go, wherever my mouse ends up, that's where this tie is going to end up. So I'm going to draw a little bouncing motions across the screen. And when I let go, you'll see he's going to walk like a little hopping walk. Okay? That might not be too bad. Uh, the speed might be a little bit too fast, where I could change the speed from medium to very slow. And I can adjust it later. Then, if I really wanted to make it look like a South Park character, I need to make the character go side to side, kind of wobble. Well, the closest thing I could find is choosing Add Effect, Emphasis Effect, and there's something called Teeter. I don't see it on my main list right here. To really get that effect, I need to go to More Effects. If you scroll down, you'll find Teeter under the Moderate setting. You see how he kind of wiggled there? I click OK. Now, it's designed to happen when I click the teeter, not exactly what I want it to do. What I want to do, I want to teeter as he's walking. So I'm going to change this, to, instead of on click, to be with previous. And then, if I press play, you'll see wiggles as he walks. Did you see that he only did it one time? Well, I need to fix that as well. What I could do is I could choose timing effects from his teetering option and repeat it as many times as I think. I think maybe four might be enough. I click OK. Then I click this play button. And you'll see he's teetering as he's walking. And there you go.